Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general love reading for September 2021. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to be for everybody's situation but you can pick out one of your other signs, one of your person signs or you can book a personal reading if you want. And yeah, all that information is in the description box. Also the roles can be reversed because this is general. So let's see, what's going on with Scorpio, first half of September? What is the overall energy? All right, we have settling. Okay, so either you might be settling in a situation that is just not as fulfilling as you would want it to be, um, or maybe the other person is settling in a situation. We'll see. So let's see, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It could even be the both of you settling. Not even for each other, it could be that there is another situation as well for some of you. Doesn't have to be, but it could be. Okay, so for the situation, oh, okay, we have the Nine of Swords crossed by the Seven of Wands. Okay, so there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of um, anxiety, possibly, um, in regards to this settling, whatever it is. But I feel like somebody is kind of blocking that out, almost trying to not, not see it. So we'll see when we clarify. Recent past, we have the world, near future, we have the tower. Oh, okay, what is going on? Scorpio, all right. Um, possibly there was some kind of an ending to a cycle um, recently, or at least it feels that way. Um, major transition coming up though, so I'm not gonna say anything about that until we clarify. For you, we have the Four of Pentacles. For them, justice, okay, that's, that's good. <laughs> um, for you, we also have the King of Cups, for them the Eight of Swords, and potential outcome here, the Six of Pentacles, all right. So, Scorpio. You have a lot of emotions here, all right, for somebody. A lot of emotions, and I feel like you've actually been working a lot on your own emotional stability as well. Um, and it could be that you are maybe holding back a little bit, like trying to protect yourself almost, and I don't necessarily see that as being a bad thing. Um, that's just what I'm seeing. Trying to protect your heart, trying to protect your emotions. For them, with Justice and the Eight of Swords, this is somebody, um, well, definitely, first of all, we have Libra. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. Um, doesn't have to be. But this person definitely wants things to be fair. This person wants to make a decision that will be the right one. Um, but they're feeling a little bit stuck, maybe too much in their head about it as to how to go about about this, all right? However, in the potential outcome, we do have the six, the six of pentacles. So, yeah, that is that is balance coming in. That is trying to make things right. Possibly trying to give back to you what you are giving to them. So let's um, clarify and see what's going on here. I did almost say sex, didn't I? So, and that's never happened when I've been meaning to say six. So you guys can take that however that might resonate for you or whatever that might mean to you. All right, so Scorpio, let's see that Nine of Swords crossed by the Seven of Wands. All right, we have the Empress, the Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Right, all positive cards clarifying something not so positive. I actually feel like this Nine of Swords is more of like a worry or of a concern that you have, um, possibly of the other person um, 
blocking you out or of you just covering up something that is bothering you within the connection. And that could be what the settling is. Like you're settling for something that seems off or something that bothers you within this connection, even though, you know, um, you, this is... This is a connection that you really feel very deeply for, all right? So that, and that could be why, you know, because you don't want to ruin that. I feel like maybe, you know, things do seem to work out um, sometimes, or maybe, you know, in the overall, or on a pra maybe on a practical level they work out, or actually maybe on a practical level things are difficult, but the connection feels, feels strong. And I feel like because you actually really want to be in this Empress energy, you really want to um, demand respect, basically, and you know what you deserve. But maybe you feel like you're not exactly getting that, so you feel like you're settling to an extent. And that could be what's worrying you, and I feel like you're kind of trying to block out that, that worry or that concern that that might, you know, kind of continue to happen with this person. And as I'm saying all of this, this reading is reminding me a lot of um, cancer. So maybe some of you are dealing with a cancer or maybe you have cancer strongly in your chart. Um, let's see. Let me clarify this world for the recent past. Well, we have the lovers and we have the three of wands. So maybe you were waiting um, for this person a lot, or there was something you were waiting on from this person. Or waiting for something to come together, and either it did, that waiting was completed, or something, something. There was something you were waiting on when it comes to this connection, and I feel like you either found a resolution or, or something along those lines, or you decided to stop waiting, but something being stirred up again here and that's why this um, anxiety is coming back into play so let me see this four of pentacles for your energy and again don't forget that the roles can be reversed all right so we have the Ten of Swords with the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Scorpio! <laughs> Scorpio, what is going on here? I feel like you're... Um, you're, again, it's what I said in the beginning, you're, you're trying to protect yourself from, from feeling pain. I feel like something is bothering you, but you might be, you're, you're like, you might be avoiding it. And again, roles can be reversed, okay? So... I'm sorry for calling you out because <laughs> maybe it's not even you, but um, if it is, then yeah, this is you trying to really protect yourself from a painful ending maybe or from something you feel like it's going to bring you pain or you're just avoiding um, addressing this issue that is causing you to worry or to have some anxiety. It's almost like you're holding back um, from that energy that is... It's there somewhere deep inside you. Let me see this King of Cups. And we'll see. I mean, maybe your concerns aren't even really, you know, based so much in reality. Like, maybe there's, like, something else that's going on here that you can't even think of. Um, but as long as you're not addressing that issue you'll never really know, right? All right, so clarifying the King of Cups, we have the Hierophant, the Chariot, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you know, you feel very strong emotions for this person here. I feel like you feel like it's it's a very deep spiritual connection. Um, 
And I feel like you're you're either reconnecting with this because maybe it did end in the past. I feel like it could, this is making more sense now. So in the past, it may have been that there was some kind of a conclusion or you were just waiting for this to come in and it just felt like maybe it was done. Um, I do see you moving in the direction of this connection here, all right, with the Hierophant, the Chariot, and the, and the Ace of Wands. Um, wanting things to pick up again or wanting things to um, be passionate. Ace of Wands could be why I said sex before. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's definitely a possibility here for some of you. Because, um, I mean, even with that chariot, cancer energy, number one, I just <laughs> said that this is reminding me of cancer. It could be somebody coming back in, right? This person coming back in here and you just, you know, being for it. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see justice. Right, the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, ooh, and the Five of Cups. All right. Well, this person is definitely, like I said, wanting to make things right, okay? Um, especially when it comes to commitment, especially when it comes to things being happy, um, wanting, wanting there to be this warmth between the two of you, wanting all of that, but why is this Five of Cups here? Um, Let me clarify that Eight of Swords. And I'll come back to this Five of Cups. So let's see the Eight of Swords. All right, the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles showing up again here. All right. I see. This person might have issues when it comes to commitment. Um, it's like they want it. But there's something within themselves that is keeping them trapped. That's what this Five of Cups is. I feel like it does. Um, this is also coming in with some regret um, for the past and for the fact that maybe they have not been very fair when it comes to being committed or to being consistent to, you know, allowing things to be um, more stable. But there's something here with this Nine of Pentacles showing up with the Eight of Swords. Um, I feel like this person is somebody who is afraid of, of um, losing their independence. They, it's like they have this um, struggle between their independence and, and commitment, wanting there to be an even... Um, reciprocity here between the two of you wanting things to be in, in balance and I feel like this is somebody who doesn't want to hurt you this is somebody who d is possibly afraid of um, making promises that they can't keep and I feel like this is something that bothers them that's the thing um, but they don't know how to break away from that however we have the tower coming up, so let's see what that's about. Tower. The Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Seven of Cups. Oh, okay. There's truth. I feel like truth is going to have to be faced here for the both of you. Um, for you, it could be, you know, really addressing this issue that is um, bothering you, that is concerning you. I feel like you might be settling possibly um, for this connection when it's not giving you 100% commitment. Um, this person is settling with their own fear of commitment, um, something along those lines. And I feel like there's this huge, huge wake-up call coming in here, all right? Um, truth is going to have to be faced. And I mostly see it as being on your person side, having to really um, face what it is that that their higher self really wants, that their soul is calling them towards. And I feel like they're going to be looking really hard at these options. It might come with some confusion as well. Um, but I feel like 
something here because I do possibly see a connection between the two of you um, happening. I don't know if you're not in communication or, or if you already are, but I feel like this is a major, major um, transition that is going to be um, presenting itself. There's still confusion in this transition, all right? There's still a little bit of that. But truths are being faced. The truth is coming out um, for this person, really seeing that, you know, how, how they truly feel and what they truly want and just their whole, um, the issues that are holding them back. Because like I said, they do want to be fair. And there comes a point where, you know, we kind of have to listen to our intuition. Like if we don't listen to it the first time, the second time, the third time, eventually, like it's just going to get so strong that there's going to be a tower. And it just makes us have to face it. So let's see the Six of Pentacles for the potential outcome here. All right, so we have the Seven of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Cups. All right, so... I feel like this is you having um, blocked out, right, <laughs> what it is that is bothering you. I feel like there is some kind of a coming together with this person where these things will come into balance, right? You blocking that out, it has to come out in the open. This person avoiding also certain things, right? That would also be the Seven of Wands. Um, and blocking out um, certain emotions because of a fear of losing their independence. That needs to come out into the open. That is what has been creating this um, discrepancy between the two of you or this like not really being on the same page. All right, but we have the Three of Cups here. So I feel like in some way with this tower, that is bringing after that tower, all right? First it's the tower, but after that, I feel like things can come to a more um, peaceful type of a union or a, a coming together and things just really balancing out. Yeah, I feel like the message here for you is though to, to not settle um, because I feel like the settling is leading you to that tower as well. Um, this person not really facing their fears, um, that's leading them to this tower, but you know, sometimes that's what it takes to get us to wake up to certain things. So yeah, just take the messages that, that make sense for you. Disregard the rest. So let's see if this message resonated with you. Final message. We have the cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. Um, definitely take that as it makes sense for you. The way that I've been seeing this is if this is for you. Um, make the first move when it comes to what it is that you need to do here for your own self right, to address that concern, to address that worry. I feel like it's saying, you know, don't, if you're just waiting for the other person to address it on their own, you might be waiting for a very long time. So be bold and make the first move. Address that anxiety, whatever that is. Don't block it out from them. Don't, don't hold it back. All right, Scorpio, those were the messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.